Hello everyone, this is Terry, and I'm back again today with another tutorial. A couple of weeks ago, I had a request from Diane Jarvis to show how I make my curved spines. Now, it depends on whether I'm making a one to two inch spine or greater than two inch spine on which mold I use. If I'm using the smaller ones, y'all don't laugh, but in order to get the size the length of can I needed, I found this in the garage and I use it. It makes a great mold for smaller spines. The right curve, the whole nine yards. My other mold is two coffee cans taped together. And I use these for my larger spines. And I will show you how to do this if you're interested continue watching, but basically these are my molds for my spines. I start off, I'm actually making four by nine spines right now. Got several of them to make. And I just start off with my own homemade little Mod Podge glue here. It's Elmer's and water mixed together. And I just really get everything really, really, really wet. I've sanded the slick side of my boxes so that they will stick together really well. And I'm sure I'm not on camera and I apologize. But basically I just glue four of these together. I'm gonna try to do this really, really quick. This will be at least a two-parter because these will have to dry and then I'll come back and once they do, I will show you how I put the bridges on them. That's really, really simple too. So basically, I'm just gonna make, put four of these together real fast. Glue them really well. The main concern with doing one of these, and I apologize for the shadow I've got going here, um, is making sure you line it up well on the mold. If not, if you don't line it up really, really well, you will get a crooked, wobbly spine. It will not have the right curve. It'll be a little off. And I will show you how to take care of that in just a second. Make sure one side is really flat. That's the side you're going to line up. You can always trim the other ones if you need to. Sometimes I don't always cut real straight. But I store my little tie straps in the top of my can. You know, up here. Let me move this out of the way. Last thing I need to do is fill glue. All right, I'm just gonna take this, use this, and I'm gonna start pushing it down. And then I'm gonna tie it down. I'm gonna try to curve it, but I wanna make sure I line that up right here on the edge. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if I can turn it this way and show it gonna line it up right here on this edge. I don't know if I can tie this on here like this, but I'll sure try. I have some t-shirt type material here and I use it to mold them. I just turn it around here and I tie it tight. And then I work with it and then I'll tie the bottom part. You want to get the cardboard fairly wet with the glue so it'll mold. Of course, I dropped the other strap. And I'm just going to tie it down like this. The same thing. Turn it around. Tie real tight. Make sure you have it lined up right there, even with that edge. Tie it tight, just space these out. 
I'm going to tie this one a little tighter. Now that everything's adjusted. And I can do more than one at a time on the molds. I can line up several molds or several spines on this mold. Once again, when I tightened it, you see it got off. You want to make sure that that is pushed down even so your, your curvature will be perfect and it will sit perfect. And that's basically how I make these to start off with. It's real simple. I use what I have to make what I can. And, <clears throat> excuse me, cedar is kicking in here in cedar in Central Texas, and it's a killer. There you go. And that is how I make my curved spines, or the beginnings of one. Anyway, I hope you can understand this and it works for you. Have a great day. If you like it, please like and subscribe. Have a blessed day, everybody. Bye.